Mike, a tough way for this one to end, but there were no. certainly a lot of positives, I would yeah. say. I mean, hey, listen, I'm so proud of these guys. I mean, we started six homegrowns tonight, and for them to step up and do the things we worked on, took Vela and Rossi virtually out of the game, two of the best players in this league. Um, and to have Zimmerman beat us, you know, I was joking with him afterwards, Walker. I said, hey, if anybody's going to beat us, American international, a center back, having a shot for top of the 18, uh, I'll take that. Um, but we, we did some very good things tonight. We did some really good things. And uh, my message to the guys after the game is this is a special team we played, very special team. And to have six homegrowns with, with our starters, four, four or five of our starters missing, um, and to put a performance, a gussy performance like this where we, where we we did the defensive things that we worked on the entire week. Uh, there's a special team, meaning that when we go to other teams, not saying who they are, but other teams in the road, we're going to win those games if we have this mentality, if we stick to the game plan like we want to play on the road this year. You mentioned the six homegrowns. You also had Donnie making his first start yeah, with you guys. Yeah. And of those homegrowns, three making their MLS debuts, and it didn't look like it. What did they do out there? How did it look so seamless to us watching? Uh, I don't know. I have to look at the tape. I don't know if it was seamless, but um, they put in a great performance. Tate, you know, I singled out Tate and Holt in the locker room, uh, Eric and Tate. Um, I mean, special players for the future, 100%. They proved it tonight. You know, they have to keep their level head now and take from this what it was, which is an unbelievable experience and possibly the hardest place to play in a league, um, you know, along with Atlanta, along with places like Seattle. Um, and to, to, to put, in, put in a performance like that w w was special, not only for me, um, but for the players, other players in there, for our organization, to see them step up like this, you know, that's why we signed them. Next week, you guys are back at the Riot. What are the takeaways from this one that will help you guys moving forward individually, collectively, as a team? I mean, it's a different mentality at home, obviously, a different game plan at home, but the mentality that we brought tonight, that, that, that has to be brought every game. You know, the roll your sleeves up and do the dirty work at times. Of course, in a place like this, we had to do dirty work a lot more than we would at home, you know, but the moments we have at home, this, this has to be the new standard for us. You know, we had, we had two times last year that we, set, that we said we, we set the standard, a new standard, and this is for, for sure the first time this year that a new standard has been set, a road mentality. And to do it so early on in the season, how important is that? I mean, the one thing I'll say, it's important, but the one thing I forgot to mention in the beginning, at least, uh, at least uh, the prediction didn't come true. At least, at least we didn't lose 5-1, you know? <laughs> I mean, 2-1 on a blazer in the 91st minute, you take your hat off to that. But, you know, uh, apologize to the guy who made his prediction. It's going to be 5-1. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you.